Hi, I'm Matt Johnson and this is my review of the Canova K3B2 slider system. I'm making this review because I wasn't really able to find a good comprehensive review of the K3 and I believe that it is literally the best slider that you can get for the price. I would say its main competitors are the Cinevate Atlas and the Kessler Crane Philip Bloom Pocket Dolly but I find that it actually matches or beats many of the features that they offer at around a third of the price. So what's in the box? The first thing you'll notice is that it has a really nice bag. Unfortunately, this bag is rather useless once you put a tripod head on the slider, but uh, we'll talk about more on that later. The bag also comes with a set of Chinese pliers that are used to adjust the ball bearings of the slider to adjust tension. A Canova really nice soft microfiber cloth, a set of Allen wrenches that are used for adjusting the tension as well, and interestingly enough, a set of oil sills that are used to lubricate your slider, if you know what I mean. Now on to the actual slider itself. The first thing you'll notice is that you need to buy a tripod head. I'm using the Manfrotto 701 fluid tripod head and as you can see from the size of it, it is not going to fit in the bag that came with a Canova. So unless you intend on actually taking off the head every single time that you store the slider or move it, the bag is kind of useless. The body of the slider is made of machined aluminum and it's actually lighter than the Cinevate Atlas. I determined this in one of my very scientific weight tests that I did where I held one in each hand and felt which one was heavier. The slider comes with adjustable legs, as you can see here, that actually you just loosen and you can adjust to whichever angle you would like. And they have little washer here so you can actually screw it up and adjust the height of each leg individually. And this locks it in place. This is incredibly useful when you are on uneven terrain. Back to the slider though. The main reason that you're purchasing it is because you want something that will actually slide smoothly. And the answer for that is a resounding yes. The ball bearings work extremely well. It is incredibly smooth. It handles the weight of my Canon 7D Plus battery grip very easily. Let's talk about the little things that really push it past Cinevate in terms of quality and almost up there with Kessler Crane. First, there's little individual centimeter marks telling you exactly where you are on the slider. This is great for measured shots or if you're doing time lapses or if you need to go to an exact point so you keep in focus. Secondly, the little screw that adjusts tension and locks the slider down is actually made of metal and not plastic like the Cinevate Atlas. So I feel much more secure using this. It also has a spring inside of it that will push back as you adjust tension so you can loosen it a little ways and get a tighter tension than you would if it was loosened all the way and things just slide back and forth easily. Third, the slider has an actual bumper on the carriage system itself. It's a soft material that actually prevents it from slamming metal against metal and is very nice because it'll cushion your slides a little bit if you need to stop. Fourth, the little feet of it are actually made of a hard rubber so you actually get a little bit of cushion whenever you are pushing down on things which really helps out. And the last thing would be expandability. For $160 you can buy a hand crank pulley system that mounts into here that will actually give you a belt for slides much like Kessler Crane does with their Philip Bloom pocket dolly. For $300 you can actually purchase a motor that will mount right here and move your slider for you. Canova's done a great job of manufacturing expandability into this slider so even if you purchase it and it's pretty basic you can expand it very easily. And very lastly I promise there's the price. I bought mine on Amazon for about $350 and with standard shipping it arrived directly from Korea in three days, which is really awesome. So there's really no reason not to get it for that price and with that shipping speed. Please visit my website whoismat.com for a full text review of this slider as well as pictures and sample videos. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link below in the description. And if you'd like to purchase this slider through Amazon, please use the link below or the link on my website. So keep on checking my website because I should have real world examples of me using this slider very soon.